Welcome everybody. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about the soap berries and what it does for us. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of uh, big words first and then I'll start talking about what we actually as First Nations use it for. Uh, it's a, cath a cathartic. Uh, will purge the bowels. It's a hemostatic, stops bleeding, and also considered to reduce or stop external bleeding. It's hypotensive, reduces blood pressure. It's a laxative, helps to purge the bowels. Uh, it's a stomach, stomach relief, stomach aches, helps heal ulcers and eliminates heartburn, right? Well, let's talk about a little bit about what we use it for as First Nations, right? Uh, it's a medicine plant uh, for external conditions as well as internal conditions. Uh, soapberry medicine treats a range of uh, from poultices for broken bones, uh, an antibody, and cures for sore eyes and venereal disease. Eating soapberries has been reported to be effective mosquito repellent. It also works too if you kind of squish it and rub it on yourself. But I find if you, you can't eat a lot of it, you gotta kind of um, uh, just take a little bit at a time and get your body kind of sweating the stuff out eventually. But if you eat too much of it uh, right away, it's not very good for you. Uh, an infusion of dried leaves is used for a di diuretic and to treat bladder and urinary infections. Dried leaves are steeped in about a, one gallon of water to make a light tea for this purpose. Uh, the leaves are usually gathered after the um, berries drop off. What I've also found too is uh, a lot like soap berries will only grow berries for so many years. So uh, what I've been doing is uh, I'll gather the ones that aren't um, giving out berries yet uh, and then I'll gather another bunch later on after the berries fall, fell off of those leaves as well. Uh, tea is used for a skin wash and as cough medicine. And you're going to make the tea out of the leaves and the branches and stuff like that. Uh, a lot of the elders, instead of doing all that tea stuff, uh, they'll just take maybe a half a teaspoon of the berries, uh, the jarred berries, right? Uh, both the inner bark and the berries were used for internal cleansing as the as a natural chemi chem as the natural chemicals found in the plant are a natural laxative when ingested used as a laxative tonic or stomach medicine an infusion of soapberry twigs is drunk to relieve uh, constipation as well right uh, don't eat too much of it. It, it is a bit, it is a really well used laxative. Uh, use soap berries for indigestion as a period of that one there. Uh, I'll just eat a couple of berries, like three or four berries out of the jar. And if they're growing around and I'm feeling upset stomach, if I'm out hiking or whatever, uh, and I'm a thirsty, I'll just pick a couple of berries, I'll eat them. Spit the shuck out though, like the, the outer wrapping of the berry, just squeeze it, suck the juice in and spit the rest out. If you swallow those, the skin and stuff, I find that you wind up with um, a bit of an upset stomach. So uh, uh, when I'm hiking or I'm thirsty, to alleviate that dryness of the mouth, I'll just squish some of the berries in my mouth and then just spit it out, right? Uh, we used it for treating digestive problems, stomach cancer, and constipation. Uh, the stomach cancer thing, I, uh, I found it works really well with uh, when you're using Devil's Club juice as well uh, with um, the soap berries. And you're thinking, gee, I wonder if I can mix it. Yeah, you can. Uh, use minimal amount of it, though. Like, it's really strong stuff. I used... Uh, uh, one uh, one pint jar of Devil's Club. Uh, I emptied it about a quarter way out, and then I added three tablespoons of soap berry into that, and it didn't feel quite enough, so I added two more tablespoons, and it was way too strong, way too strong. Uh, I probably should have only added maybe um, two tablespoons in it, 
but it was it was quite strong and then I, I also added a little bit of the juice that was in the jar too with the devil's club so i think i made it too strong also what happened there's this uh, other medicine out there that's really expensive it's called kubacha um what happened was over time uh the soap berry and devil's club mixing together actually formed that kubacha right and so it was quite strong uh soap berries helped with clean clearing the skin clearing skin problems such as boils and acne uh, do, but if you're going to be using it for that stuff, make sure you don't uh, take too much of it because it'll it, it will start uh, it'll make you feel nauseous, make you feel like you're wanted to vomit, uh, might even give you uh, diarrhea, and through those things, needless to say, you might wind up dehydrated. So be careful. And like I, I always tell people, never play with this medicine. I always get it administered by somebody that really knows what they're going to do. And if you're going to practice, practice on yourself, please. Uh, the bark was combined with cherry bark to make a plaster or a bandage for treating broken bones. Uh, an infusion was made from the bark uh, to use for... Uh, my glasses are broken. <laughs> the, the, the thing. Uh, <clears throat> for treating sore eyes. And <laughs> obviously, I'm going to have to treat my sore eye because I just poked it when the glasses kind of slid off. Uh, the stems and leaves were used to make a wash for cuts, sore, stiff muscle joints, arthritis, and inflammations. The berries were also used externally in the treatment of boils and acne, right? And so the acne thing, once again, you're just rubbing it on your face. Uh, the berries are reported to speed up childbirth. Uh, soap berries were used to help with gynecological problems, specifically during pregnancy and childbirth. According to the Witsoatins, uh, the midwives used to use the berries to induce the labor um, instead of like uh, cod liver oil and raspberry tea. Raspberry tea works really good for inducing labor. Uh, uh, the tea may be brewed from the leaves uh, of the soap berry bush, which has a diuretic property used to fight infections of the bladder and urinary tract. Also, if you're having a lot of bladder problems and urinary tract problems, um, I found uh, dandelion root works excellent for that. Uh, I use it. Uh, yeah. And uh, so uh, we also use the soap berry for very spiritual purposes as well. And uh, a lot of it that I think is because of the, the massive amount of trading value that we had with it. And uh, so hopefully that helped you and it gave you a little bit of more information. There's a lot more that it will do. This is just to whet your appetite, right? And so remember, laughter is the best medicine and COVID is happening for us, not to us. Have a great day. All my relations.